So, welcome back. I generally don't know how to start these videos anymore. I've just gotten used to starting vlogs and starting vlogs is so much different to starting a sit down video like, like this. I was gonna put this into a vlog, but I figured why not just make it its own sort of sit down video instead of making a vlog longer. As you can tell by the title, I am going to be trying Portuguese foods as selected by João and his brother and his mum. So last night, Joao went out and he bought a massive bag of items. Um, I think we counted 15. Around that, yeah. Around 15, and I'm going to try them in this video today. Whilst he was out, um, he filmed a few clips of him like choosing stuff. I'm not sure what the clips are, because obviously if I look at the clips, I'm gonna know what I'm trying, and this is a complete surprise. I, don't, I know one thing, because we bought it, and that's what gave us the idea. Um, to do this video so I'm gonna insert those clips now of him choosing my food I think we should get started. What's the first one you want me to try? Should we start with the one that I know? Yeah. So this is some sort of crisp, but it's like made of corn, I would say. Sounds interesting. Let's do this. They don't smell too bad, to be honest. They literally look like... Can I have one? You can have one, yeah. You know, like Doritos, um, the look of them, they kind of look very similar to that, but not triangles. Do you know what? I'm gonna give these a... One to 10. I'll give these a seven out of 10. The only thing I would say, they're really dry. Next. Next one is... Manianzitos, which is some sort of pancakes, uh, but I picked a version that is chocolate, so the pancakes made of chocolate, something like that. Sounds good. That's a cute little start on the front. Yeah, that was fine as well. It's good. It's really good. You're not <laughs> going to have enough space for the whole thing. I'll give that a solid 9 out of 10. That's really good. I really like those. I'm happy with that. This is all stuff that like I wouldn't necessarily choose myself. So this is Bui Tao. It's pretty much I would say the same. It might be like a type of a cousin of that but it's bigger. It's some sort of bread with chocolate inside. Oh, that's the side without the chocolate. Oh, lucky. You didn't have much chocolate though, so I need more. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's really nice. Oh, that's really nice. Oh, that's good. It's literally like, imagine a hot dog roll and you put Nutella in it. Let's say, I prefer the pancakes to this. So I'm gonna say an eight out of 10 for this. Okay, so this one, the name is Proa. It's 50% of sweet potato. It's just, you got 50% of the sweet potato and it's just the flavor okay. of orange and almond that okay. you hate. I'm not very positive for this. It smells like orange. I don't know. <laughs> if I had to eat it, I would. I wouldn't choose to eat it. Okay, let's say a five out of 10 for that one. Okay, so this is very similar, but it's carrot. Like little mini cupcake things. Yeah. Did you just smell like carrot? I'm the same with this as I am with the last one. If I had to eat it, I would. The texture isn't my favorite. It's really weird. I think it's because of the carrot. 
and it's like carrot in a kind of cake thing. I don't like carrot cake anyway. <coughs> this is softer. It is really soft. But I don't think I like the texture of this. So I'm gonna give it a five out of ten again. Do you wanna finish it? Give it to him. This is gonna be weird. Oh, your mum had that before. Yeah. I have no idea how to explain this one. You got peanuts, honey, a lot of sugar, and vanilla. The peanuts. The peanuts? The peanuts? <laughs> The peanut part is what I'm not looking forward to. Okay, so this is what it looks like. All I can see is peanut. Yeah. Anyone who knows me will know I cannot stand peanut. I don't know why you're doing this to me. Do it. Shit, oh my god. That is... It's really good. All I can taste is peanut. And honey. I can't taste honey, I can't. Ready? Oh, oh you've got to be kidding me. I tried this once. The thing is, so. I don't really remember much. I don't like anything else other than the marshmallow. The chocolate is definitely dark chocolate. I'm not a fan of dark what chocolate. What about the sprinkles? I can't even taste the sprinkles, to be honest. <laughs> they just melt into the dark chocolate. Like uh, a tea cake uh, yeah, in England. Much, yeah. That's like a, I'll, gi I'll give it a three. This one is a gift. Is it similar to Starburst? Yeah, it's very similar. The strawberry one is my favorite Starburst. They're very similar, but very, very different. This kind of has a texture of chewing gum to me, or bubble gum. I'll give that an 8 out of 10. That's really it. She's gonna absolutely hate this. That's why I picked it. It looks like cherries and dark chocolate, it's and that's everything I hate. Beautiful. Looks... She's gonna get drunk because this guy, Blicker, is that, is that the name? Blicker. This couldn't be or go any more worse. Oh, okay. I told you, he got like liquid. Ooh. Oh my god, she's making a mess. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Do you have the cherry? No, the cherry's there. Mm -hmm. I've made a mess. <laughs> I had to spit it out and I hate the fact the cherry wasn't even my problem. No, it was the liquor. Because it was inside the... You didn't even... I can't even get to it because the liquor. Easy. Zero. I can't. Minus one. Okay, I'm gonna help you and okay. give you this one first. I've tried some of these before, but not this specific flavor. Okay, so this is Gombal. I picked the red fruits. Mm -hmm. This is very typical in Portugal. I'm excited about this one. I have high hopes for this. I never tried this flavor, to be honest. It's really good. It's really good. It's mine. Nine out of ten. Ten out of ten. So the next one. Oh. This is chicken. Chicken in breadcrumbs. You can use a microwave if you need. Not how I expected it to look. Oh, the name is Cuisine de Frango. It's good. Do you like it? I do like it. It's chicken, of course you would. I'm gonna give this the same as the last one. Nine out, nine and a half out of ten. I'm gonna finish this later. With the juice. Mm -hmm. So this one is some sort of ham, but I would say that it's kind of in the middle of ham and chorizo. So this is, well, it's not very... It's missing a part. But yeah, this is what it looks like. It's not my favourite thing. I reckon I would like it, but I don't like the, like the chorizo part. I'd say a 6 out of 10, I think. I absolutely like hate this. It's queijo fresco. Yeah, it's cheese from Alentejo, which is uh, a zone. It's cow and sheep. Again, this is something that I am not looking forward to at all. So I love doing this to myself. This is the cheese. 
If you don't like it, then that's not a good sign for you. <laughs> You're trying not to throw up. Yeah. The thing is, it tastes of nothing to me. That's probably why I don't like it. The texture is bad. Yeah, the texture is really bad. It's kind of like... It's... It's almost foamy, but like solid. I want to try again, but... I mean, I'm just gonna give that to his brother because he loves it. But um, I'm gonna stick to my chicken, I think. Yeah, that is pretty much everything. Well, no, that is everything. Elvis wanted to be in the video. He wanted to come and say hi. So I'm going to leave this video here. We've been filming for the last 41 minutes. I don't know how it's taken that long. Do you want to be a part of it as well, Pluto? I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys found some sort of entertainment from me doing this to myself. But if you did, give this video a big thumbs up. Um, I think this was kind of a success. I found a couple things that I love. Subscribe. The link to is down below, or there is the button as usual. Um, all of our social medias are in the description box down below as well if you want to go give us a follow. Uh, we will see you guys in my next video. Bye!